a cannon shot struck him on one leg, shattering it completely, the other badly injured. 500 years ago, Ignatius of Loyola was a courtier with dreams of greatness for himself. He wanted fame, military honors, a place of prestige in the court, and the hand of a beautiful lady. He had planned his career meticulously. But then, on the 20th of May, 1521, Ignatius was defending the city of Pamplona against French troops. His side was hopelessly outnumbered, but thinking of his plans for greatness, he wanted to fight to the bitter end. And even the counsel of more experienced soldiers didn't sway his determination. If only he could rally the troops to win the battle, he thought. He would gain the fame he had envisioned. Then he was struck by a cannonball. His legs were broken, mangled, and he almost died. After a long, tedious recovery, he would walk with a limp for the rest of his life. But more devastating for young Ignatius was that his hopes for a brilliant career shattered with his legs. It was in that moment that Ignatius saw the end of his worldly career and the start of his service to God. As he lay helpless and distraught, contemplating his future, Ignatius discovered that God wanted something else for him, something bigger than courtly honors. Ignatius grew and changed as he spent more time in prayer and reflection, all the while his conversion continued. Almost 20 years later, he would found the Society of Jesus together with his first companions. And through the Society of Jesus, Ignatius would forever change the world. What started with a cannonball at Pamplona would become a mission that endures today. His apparent failure, his cannonball moment, became a blessing for the church and for the world. Because it allowed Ignatius to see all things new in Christ, and to help others to live a similar experience. From May 20th, 2021 to July 31st, 2022, in recognition of the 500 years since the start of the conversion of Ignatius, the Society of Jesus is celebrating with the entire Ignatian family. It is an opportunity for all of us, and maybe also for you, to be transformed, to be renewed, and to see all things new in Christ. La herida de Pamplona puso a Ignacio en un sorprendente camino de conversión. Mientras se recuperaba, Ignacio pudo ver cómo Dios actuaba en su vida. Esto lo cambió radicalmente. Se convirtió en un peregrino, tratando de seguir los suaves caminos del Espíritu y de ver hacia dónde y cómo lo conducía Dios. Este año ignaciano es una oportunidad para que descubras la visión de Ignacio sobre cómo actúa Dios en nuestras vidas y de profundizar en tu propio camino de peregrino. Lo principal es recordar que Cristo es el centro. Solo Jesucristo puede cambiarnos, puede liberarnos, puede convertirnos. Y cuando Él lo haga, suave y gradualmente, quedarás asombrado, desafiado, sorprendido, vencido, bendecido. Este es un año de gracia. Es una oportunidad para dejarte sorprender por Dios para descubrir los increíbles sueños que Él tiene para tu vida y para ver todas las cosas nuevas en Cristo. Espero que podamos arriesgarnos y nos dejemos convertir en este año ignaciano. This year-long celebration is not just for Jesuits. All are welcome to share our joy and to discover the richness of Ignatian spirituality. The Ignatian family is vast with Ignatian congregations of religious sisters all around the world, and 25,000 members of the Ignatian movement for lay people. I think the main thing for me about St. Ignatius is how much he appreciated his own humanity, how blessed and graced his humanity was. It was, it was graced by, by the love of God. His journey, the process of his growth from his conversion, 
was a process of embracing his own humanity in the face of God's gracious and amazing love. And I think if, if I long for anything, if I long to be like Ignatius in any way, it's to be that person of humanity in the face of God's great love for me. I think the other great gift that Ignatius has offered is the gift of prayer. Um, through the spiritual exercises, through the examen. He's, his day, the daily examen has been and is for me um, a way of, of encountering God in the ordinary. And I think that's a gift that Ignatius has given to all of us. That all the small things in life are important. It's through the small, ordinary things that God speaks to us. As Mary Ward women and as, as true followers of Ignatius, it's important for us as women in today's world to be able to share the spirituality of St. Ignatius with those with whom we work, those with whom we teach, and with our collaborators and our friends throughout the world. Que sea un tiempo en el que también podamos volver a conectar con las heridas nuestras y del mundo para que sea un lugar de encuentro, de conversión personal y comunitaria. Solo desde esa conversión personal creo que, es po que podemos construir cambios que perduren. Para mí San Ignacio es un santo con una experiencia de vida profundamente humana, real, que me permite conectar, que me permite entrar a su vida desde mi propia experiencia vital. A mí me llega mucho la imagen del Ignacio peregrino, esa persona que busca a Dios a pesar de no tener respuestas claras que sabe volver a ponerse en camino cuando las cosas no salen bien. Su profundidad interior, pero a la vez su apertura al mundo, su necesidad de contacto con la realidad, son aspectos de él que conectan con mi vida y que me hablan mucho de quién es San Ignacio para mí. La Society of Jesus today is 15,000 Jesuits strong, with tens of thousands of colleagues in over 112 countries around the world. Here are the four main focal points of our mission today. We tried to show the way to God through the gift Ignatius gave us in the spiritual exercises and discernment. We walk with the excluded of the world by accompanying the poor, the outcast, and those whose dignity has been violated. We hope to be converted and to see the world ever more through God's eyes. In this rapidly changing world, we want to journey with the youth, to learn from the way the youth sees the world, and to accompany them in the creation of a hope-filled future. And we want to see God's creation with new eyes. We want to be converted ecologically so that we can care better for our common home. This Ignatian year is an opportunity to pray and work for this renewal. As St. Ignatius gradually gained a new dream for his life and the world, with God in the center, he started to see all things new in Christ. We are no different than Ignatius. We are all people in constant need of conversion, of putting Christ in the center. May we all benefit from this Ignatian year to open ourselves to God's call for us and to follow the Spirit where we do not know. Te invito cordialmente a descubrir cómo Dios está actuando en tu vida y cómo puede ayudarte a ver todas las cosas nuevas, a ti mismo, a los que te rodean, a los excluidos y vulnerables y a la creación. All will be joining us in this pilgrimage of conversion and renewal. And you are invited.